So now in follow-up, so previous video we talked about, you know, the importance of these production meetings and how they implement core values, right? And how that becomes more of a staple in your company. Additionally, a lot of trades will reach out and some of the questions we had are like, what do you, what's the content of these meetings, right? How are you addressing issues? And I think it's really important that what, you know, this really comes down to company culture. Again, it, it's very common that our team makes mistakes. It's just part of it. There's mistakes made. What we're trying to avoid is that mistakes at certain projects don't repeat, right? History doesn't repeat itself and it goes to another project. So it's really important to dissect those issues that come up, address those. And so one thing that we always want to do in public, right? We're always commending our team in public and we're always scolding in private or essentially when mistakes are happening, you know, we're not going to call out that person in front of everybody. It's ideal that, you know, behind closed doors, we're addressing that issue, making sure it's resolved. However, the issue itself, we can bring up in the meeting to make sure that that comes in our standard operating procedures, our SOP. So of course our content's, you know, generally going to be, you know, speaking about schedules, we're going through schedules, we're going through, you know, issues that may have come up and how we're addressing those as a company and as a team and as a group so that we can make sure we don't make those again. Again, another important aspect is the leadership meeting. And so I'm going to talk in another video about the value of having a leadership team in your company, no matter the size. And I'll speak about that in the next video. However, from those meetings, we get valuable information. One thing for us is that we didn't really have any consistency how we're closing a project. And, you know, for those that have attended the Contractor Coalition Summit, you know, I talk about in detail how we close a project, how it's in our contract, and how our clients understand that. But essentially what came to this is now we train our team. Here's how we close a project. Here's how that works with the schedule and the dates. Here's the protocol. Here's what's warranty. Here's what's punch. Here's how we determine that. And then now we can finalize, you know, how we, how we close out a project and give the clients the keys. Super valuable as we're sitting there and instructing the team with that information. Furthermore, as you're thinking about how can I create more content, one thing that's been really valuable for us is continuing education. This is something that can be done pretty inexpensive. And what I mean by that, it's very common that for us as we're getting one together, we try to do this around lunch. So middle of the day, you know, the mornings are pretty busy on a construction site. Afternoons as well as again, sites closed up and paperwork. But in the middle of the day is a great time for everyone to come into the office, have lunch together as a team, as a team building, but we'll have some of our suppliers, trade partners present. Now the value of that is they're going to give perspective that we don't understand. You know, as a general contractor, there's a lot of the nuance and the coordination that happens with our trade partners, but they're dealing with things that we don't understand. So when they come in and teach us about training, product, you know, install, things that can make their job better, it makes us better. So now we're having lunch and learns. And so reaching out to vendors, suppliers, having them come in and teach about product. We just did one. So Mark LaLiberte came in, who's one of our clients who's with construction instruction. And he talked about, you know, flashing and waterproofing and WRB, you know, weather resistant barrier. And by going through that, now we have some uniform standards as a company. And that training was super valuable, right? For that hour and a half that he came in and spoke to our team. So again, utilize these production meetings. You can break those out uh, with continued education, with addressing, you know, gaps in the company. And of course, have a little bit of lunch. It makes a, a lot of fun as everyone gets together. And additionally with the lunch, one thing we're doing is, you know, because we have 22 people in the company now, birthdays are a big thing. So for the birthday week or month, you know, we'll bring in a dessert too and, and, and sing a little happy birthday to whoever's birthday month it is. So enjoy those production meetings now that are going to be more efficient.